Joining us now is Asif Siddiqui, an assistant professor of history at Fordham University here in New York. He is also an expert on the global space race. Mr. Siddiqui, thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. For a long time, space was always looked upon as sort of the monopoly of two nations, Russia and the United States. Mm -hmm. Now we've seen China, we've seen Japan, and now India getting involved. What's going on here? Mm -hmm. Well, you can see it in a couple of different ways. One is in, in terms of the Asian context. You have kind of a race uh, really heating up in, 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 the, in the three most powerful economies in, in Asia. China and Japan recently launched loop probes to the moon in the last year or so, and now India is doing that. And space, uh, since the uh, Cold War, has always been a way to assert sort of uh, strength on a global stage. So you see India really doing that now. So it's very significant, I think. And would this now be uh, where we're entering into the commercialization of space? Well, uh, sp there's always been a commercial space industry. Um, there have been large companies and uh, launching satellites for communications and weather, etc. What you might have now is kind of a, a kind of a, a larger mix of people to choose from in terms of commercialization. India, for example, has a com company called Antrix, which offers services for rather much more cheaper than, say, the Americans might offer to smaller countries in the, in the developing world. So definitely there's a new kind of expansive vision of what commercialization could mean. Why the moon? Well, this is an interesting question. Uh, scientists will tell you there's much more we can learn from the moon. Uh, there's elements there, uh, minerals there that perhaps we could use uh, for improving life on Earth. But really, the, the most important thing here is asserting national pride. India is going to the moon to show the rest of the world, and for a domestic audience too, that they are now a global power. They can assert themselves in science and technology in a way that only a few nations can in the world. In the time we have left, it's about 15 seconds, should we be concerned about perhaps militarization of space? Well, there's always the concern about militarization of space. China recently uh, knocked out one of its satellites in orbit as a test, and so some of these technologies which are used for civilian control can also be used for military control. So that uh, concern will always be there. How it p plays out is hard to tell right now. Asif Siddiqui, thanks very much for talking to us about the moonshot that India took today. Thank you.